again here from Valencia, Spain. And uh, today we're going to talk about our five uh, first month tips that uh, could have made our, our lives a lot easier. So hopefully uh, anyone moving to Spain or anyone overseas, hopefully this uh, you guys can learn from our mistakes and this helps you guys out. So uh, you want to start us off with number one? Sure. Uh, our first tip is if you are not very good in Spanish, uh, we highly, highly, highly recommend either asking someone who speaks Spanish or hiring somebody to go to your Padron appointment or going to your uh, initial doctor's appointments because mm -hmm. especially if you have children in school, they have to have a um, like your annual doctor exam. They have to sign off on a form saying yeah. everyone's healthy. Um, we really struggled and some of the people were a little frustrated with our Spanish and if you are someone who gets very anxious or um, very nervous, uh, I would definitely recommend having someone with you because I was pretty much almost in tears after our Padron appointment um, because I felt like I was getting screamed at by the lady. But um, I would definitely uh, recommend having someone come. <laughs> yeah, 100%. Uh, I think we took a couple of Spanish classes and we felt overconfident. Yes. and. Uh, yeah, the the words they use are so different for mm -hmm. doctors or yeah. padrone. Like it just it's so different, right? Like it's <laughs> it's not like ordering at a restaurant, yes. right? So um, we weren't prepared. You're probably not going to be prepared. Bring someone with you. A babysitter is like ten dollars an hour. It's well worth it. Just 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 do that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, on to tip number two, um, <laughs> and this is slightly embarrassing, uh, but you can easily rent a van if you want to go to Ikea or they deliver um, and so uh, like if you're from the states you can easily get an international driver's license you go to like AAA show your license it's done in like five minutes you pay like 20 bucks um, I for some reason just wasn't thinking and we kept going to Ikea with uh, like a taxi like a taxi van and trying to like load up things at like Every other day we'd go and like try to load up like one more thing. I could have just rented a van for like thirty dollars plus gas, driven it there myself, and loaded everything one time. Um, so again, some people just get furnished places. We didn't, and uh, it was a nightmare for for a solid two weeks. Mm -hmm. So if you have an international driver's license, even maybe without the driver international driver's license, you can rent a van. It's literally thirty dollars. IKEA is a 15 20 minute drive from the center the city center max um just just rent just rent the freaking van and and do it so yeah point number three yes um i think one of the biggest things that definitely saved uh like my mental space and mm -hmm. and helped with friends and the children and uh, learning where to go for kids activities just pretty much everything was I joined all the expat groups on Facebook they're from uh, Americans in uh, Valencia there's expats Valencia women in Valencia I mean I think I joined 20 groups um, which was obviously excessive but I made friends very quickly. From the first week we moved here, we met up with a big group of uh, moms and kids, and we are still friends to this day. Our kids are very close, and it's honestly nice after having just a week of the kids going to school, they have they go to football, uh, do all their sports in Spanish, that on the weekends we'll go see some friends who speak English to get just kind of a mental break before starting your week again. And uh, that was, it was honestly like a, a game changer for us. 100%. Um, I'm going to throw an extra tip in here. In those expat mom groups, make sure you use the search function. Oh, yes. Uh, like, we didn't really get attacked, but sometimes people will go crazy in there. Mm -hmm. uh, if you ask a question that's been asked like 80 times, um, so use the search function. It is your friend, yes. and it's going to go smoothly. Mm -hmm. So, um, on, to tip number f <laughs> on to tip number four, uh, another mistake on my end. <laughs> uh, so, we knew we weren't going to have furniture for the first bit and I was like hey I'm gonna at least order us mattresses with some to sleep on and so I ordered it from Amazon um, and that actually went fairly smoothly except uh, I got overconfident in my ability <laughs> to um, know inches from centimeters and so basically I looked up the children's mattresses which is like you know 90 by 105 whatever it is right centimeters uh, basically a twin mattress, maybe a little smaller than a twin mattress, and uh, I ordered it for them. And then for us, 
I saw 105 and I was like, oh, that's plenty, right? <laughs> that's, that's plenty. I thought 15 inches, I don't know what I was thinking, and I ordered it and it arrived. And I was like, there has, there has to be something wrong. And so my wife and I, uh, we got to share basically a twin mattress on the floor for the first 10 days mm -hmm. until our other bed came in from Ikea. Um, we still have the bed to this day, but it is uh, it was a mistake. So please, when you're making your conversions, please pay attention uh, because it was a rough 10 days of mm -hmm. sleeping um, as we waited for our Ikea stuff. So... Uh, that is that is tip number four, and uh, to wrap it up, tip number five. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, another uh, really cool thing that we got is um, there's like these rolling bags. Um, you and back in I guess the U S, uh, you would see more elderly people rolling bags, and they put their groceries in them. But here, oh my God, they are a game changer. Uh, put our, my groceries in there uh, because we have four kids and we're usually gone from the morning till the evening I usually pack the rolly bag full of food I have like the balls for the tria I have our water bottles and honestly everyone knows I'm coming because they can see my little rolly bag and it, it's really nice I mean you can buy them at Cortez Inglés um, mm -hmm. I think anywhere from like 20 euros to if you want to get a super fancy one mm -hmm. um, I think what almost like under 100 probably 80, 90 euros yeah. Yeah. but they're really 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 nice and especially because we walk everywhere and even just to have some like hold the waters because that is heavy when you're walking blocks it, it's really really nice to have yeah I, I cannot stress that enough I think maybe just because we haven't really lived in a city maybe like when I visit New York or other major cities like that uh, Boston I, I haven't seen people drag this around maybe it's a thing now but in Europe apparently they're everywhere mm -hmm. and they are amazing like mm -hmm. you feel a little bit like an old person you know but um it's too convenient not not to have it yes. um and so 100 percent have to do it. you can drag it to the beach i mean it's just it's yeah. it's it's too worth it mm -hmm. so um yeah guys that is our five first month tips in valencia spain we give you guys a bonus one about using the search function mm -hmm. so the the mom groups don't attack you mm -hmm. um but overall we've been loving it here um the kids spanish is getting better and better every day our spanish is getting better things getting better but overall uh, it's been a great experience so far and we'll uh, share more with you uh, in our next video yeah adios adios